There you go. So I have, I got this hatch from Yak Gear. It's a four inch, uh, what's the part number? Hatch 4C. See that there? Hatch 4C. So the Pelican 110, I don't think the 130 does either. There's no hatch in the front. If you have this kayak, you already know that there's an indent right there. And what that's for is they do this in the mold and it's your center point uh, if you want to install a hatch in here. So the quickest way is when you get the hatch, you know, put it backwards, put it that way. Just make sure you got the right one. Make sure that you have the the four inch hatch is the one that you need for this kayak, not the six inch. The six inch is too big, um, at least in my measurements. So the easiest way to do this is I see people having problems spacing out and they're talking about measure this, measure that. The easiest way is to get yourself a caliper. This is just a cheap one from Harbor Freight. Um, turn it on, make sure you're zeroed out. I measure in millimeters. Um, it's better or easy, it seems easier for me to measure in millimeters. Go from one side to the other to get your diameter. Sorry, it's hard to do this with one hand. You want to get your diameter of the thickest part on there. And it's going to be 113. Point six three, point six four, whatever. About about how however tight you squeeze that down, but we'll give it to 113 millimeters, 113.70. Okay. So put that up there, and we're gonna write down. One thirteen point one point thirteen point seventy outer diameter OD one thirteen point seventy. So then you're gonna need to split that in half, but you know what? I'm using my phone to record. Um, so let me pause this and get a number. Okay, so half the halfway of that is going to be 56.85. So what that's going to be is from your center point to the edge it's going to be 56.85 millimeters. So let's go up to 56. It's too far. 56.85. I'll lock that down. So basically, if you can see here, that's going to be in your center point. So it's going to be just like that. So now that we have that number, what you want to do, and I've already cut it out here, cut out a piece of plastic from the box. Okay? Just like that. Take a Sharpie. Put a mark on the Sharpie, okay? And then we're going to measure that from that center point. To about there. Put your second mark there. So. Now your plastic, your piece of plastic is going to have two marks on it. So let's make this a little bit better. So the distance from this mark to this mark is fifty six point eighty five millimeters. R roughly, it could be fifty six point eighty three, eighty four, eighty five, somewhere in there. So 
the next thing that you want is get yourself a pick. Okay, a pick is going to make this easy. I'm going to show you why. You're right there in the center. I've been using a piece of foam. Uh, it's just packing foam. Poke a hole in it. Now what that's going to do is when you poke a hole in there, if you see on the back, it's pushed that out. Now what you can do is stick that right in, right into that indent. And it's going to hold that. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut that off so it's not as long. And then I'm going to double check my measurement. Come in here to the center of that hole to where my hole is, where my mark is over here. It's 56 point. Let's see, moving around here. 56.82, 83, you know, so it's close enough. It's a little bit on the smaller side, so you can always take plastic away, but you can't re-add plastic. So we're gonna go take your pick, do the same thing. So now you have two holes, okay? Well, in the plastic, you have two. So let's trim this. Just a little bit. Get rid of the excess. Makes it easier on your fingers. So now we we'll hold one end into the indent. Put your marker in the other end. Oops. And now you got a perfect circle. It's evenly spaced. So you can see from the center to that line is 56.84. From the center to that line is 56.84. And the same in this direction. So now it's even. So now when you take your hatch and you put your hatch on there, you probably can't see it with the camera. But you can see this lines up perfectly. Might be able to put this on there. Yeah. So now you can see it fits perfectly right inside there. The diameter of there to there is the diameter of the lip on there. So now all you, all you have to do now, drill a hole, okay? Measure a couple times. If you wanna take some rubbing alcohol, wipe that off, Remeasure this, make the line, do it a couple times. Because once you cut this, there's no going back. Um, that's why when I measured, it was 156 or 56.85 was the halfway point. Um, 56.84, that's okay because 113.70 is our diameter. So if we come over here, center point, 113.70, 78 or so, whatever. It's, it's close enough. There's, that's not gonna make a difference. And that's more than enough to cover that lip. So when I cut this out with the Dremel, it should be a tight fit. I would recommend, if you don't have a Dremel, um, or if you're not familiar with using a Dremel, be very careful because when you run a Dremel in, sometimes it, well, I'm not sure what tool, what exactly it's called. Um, it's right by where I would be, it's just a, it's just a cutoff tool. When you run your bit along here, the bit is gonna wanna walk. So a safe thing to do would be to drill some holes around there and then either use a coping saw or a knife or whatever way you're going to plan on cutting it. Don't go beyond this line. So if you drill a bunch of holes, you can just connect the dots pretty much.
So we'll cut this out. Um, use a rotary tool, Dremel, uh, cutoff tool, whatever you, you want to use. I'm gonna use a drill with an eighth inch uh, drill bit. So we don't necessarily need to drill this out, but you can. Um, depends on how you're gonna run the rotary tool. So I'm just gonna drill some holes. Let me change the angle here a little bit better. So now that we have that in there, we can come in with our drill. And go ahead and drill our, I mean, holes to this one, two, four, six. So we can drill our six holes. And then you have stainless steel hardware here. Um, gives you some nylock nuts and some Phillips head screws. So now I use the 1 8 inch drill bit. Um, it's unlikely, it's probably going to be too small. So probably go up to 11 64ths, and that'll give. That'll give what uh, we need. Let me get this drill bit locked in here. If you have a deburring tool, you can use that to get these little burrs off. The razor blade works fine too. So now, let's put the hatch on there, we'll get a Phillips bit. Then you're gonna want a Phillips head screwdriver because on the back of here, you're gonna to need to put the, uh, the nylock nuts. And the nylock nuts are 11 millimeter for what, three eighths. So you'll put the, the nylock nuts on there, on the back. Put your bag in. And there you go.